Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm AK. In this video, I'll show you how to create this login UI in Flutter. So if you just want to get the source code, you can get it in the description. I left the link in there. If you want to follow along with me while I'm coding, you can continue watching this video. So let's get started. So here we have a simple Flutter boilerplate that has main function, which runs my app. And my app is a stateless widget which returns material app. And in, inside this material app, I just disabled uh, that, that debug banner up here. So the next property of material app I want to use is home uh, property. And this home property will be our login screen widget, which we will create in a bit, okay? So this login screen widget will be created inside a new file. And for that, I will open my sidebar and I will come inside this lib folder, as you can see here, and I want to create a new file there. And the name of that file will be uh, not screen, but uh, login screen dot dot. OK, this is the name of our file and we can close our sidebar. And here I want to create a new stateless widget and that stateless widget will be login screen, as you might have guessed it. So this one, as you can see, it returns placeholder. Instead of that, I want to return scaffold. So, and I want to remove all the unnecessary imports. And let's actually remove this error inside our main.dart file. So for that, we just need to import our login screen uh, widget. Okay, now the error goes away. We can save it and close it. As you can see, now we have a white screen. That's because we have a scaffold widget down here. And it has all the themes and stylings uh, that comes as default. So scaffold has many properties. The one we are concerned about is just body for now. Okay, we want to use this body widget. And first of all, I want to use column because I want to insert many widgets inside one widget. And column has children. Hmm, let's actually remove this const and this error goes away then. So the first widget I want to show is text that the text will be welcome back. So if I save it, and now you can see the text behind this, maybe you cannot see it. Actually, to make it visible, we can wrap our scaffold with safe area. So this will help us to make our widget visible. Okay, here, uh, small text. Let's give it some styling. Uh, that will be text style font size, font size, let's make it 26. If I save it, our text is big now. Let's make it bold. Font weight, font weight will be bold. Okay, so if I save it, as you can see, uh, we have a bold, big text. And I want to copy this and paste it, just paste that text under it, under our title. And this one will be our subtitle. So let's make this one font size of 13 and let's make it normal not bold so if i save it we have a small text and let's change the text to a different one so that will be start uh, managing start managing your finance uh, faster and better if I save it, we have a longer text and let's actually give this color as well. I want to give it color. Uh, the color I want to use is uh, just color and let me copy the color from my notepad. So I want to use this hint color, okay? I already saved it here. So let's put it here. If I save it, we have this uh, grayish color, okay? Light grayish color. So now let's align our text. These two texts are not aligned properly. Let's align them using columns cross axis alignment property. And we can set it to start. If I do that, now we have this one. This is aligned to left. Let's give our body some padding. For that, I, I will uh, wrap my column with padding widget. And I will set that to 20, okay? Now, 20 is good. Let's make it 30, not 20, 30. Okay, I think better. 
So now we have two text widgets, as you can see, and we can give some comments just like this. And this is title, and this one is subtitle. Okay. The next widget will be email field. Okay, email text field. So for that, we can use text will widget. Mm, if I save it, we have this default text field and that has only border under text field. We can style it. For that, we can use decoration and that will be input decoration. And uh, input decoration has a lot of properties. The one we want to use for now is, uh, let's say, fill color, okay? Fill color will be uh, color and I already have fill color for this yeah, on my notepad and this is the one and that color will be this one if I save it it's not going to show up right now and that's because we need to set one more property that is field that field should be true then our uh, text will will have some color all right I think it's not it's not visible that much visible as you can see here it is if i set it to different color let me let me set it to a different color uh, can i use it like this okay here yeah if i set it to this if i save it you are able to see it okay the color was not that visible maybe i can change the color a little bit to a darker one to make it kind of visible okay oh that's too dark let's change it a little bit lighter okay okay I think this is good cancel uh, not RGB I want to no let's let's make it hex not RGB if you tap on it it will be hacks okay so now we have this and let's remove the border bottom border okay for that we can use border and border can I said border none border no uh, we need to use uh, outline input border and we set border to border of none okay border side none if i set it let's actually add some commas to style to make it prettier okay here we have this text field and let's give it some border radius as well border radius and the border radius i want to give circular and we can set it to 8 I think 8 should be good yeah not that bad 8 so and then we can use padding okay content padding of this one as well uh, because the padding is not that good right now uh, as you can see it's a little bit bigger before that let's try to add uh, icon uh, that's prefix icon and prefix icon will be icons dot email email outlined how about email rounded can we use that okay I think email email outline it is better so if I save it now we have this okay I think padding is not that bad you know, we can change it if, if we do not like it so for now that's it and the next one is hint text the hint text will be you at gmail.com okay this is just an example mm, just like that and we can change the hint color as well I want to add some hint style that will be text style and color the color will be color and I have a color here on my notepad this hint color actually I already used it here let, let me put it let me save it okay if I save it now we have a lighter gray color let's make this const 
it's better to make this const okay this one as well and this color as well you can set them to const so what I want to do right now is let's to put some sized box okay let's add some space here uh, sized box and height of let's give it 15 let's see how it looks if I give it 15 okay I think I can give this one 35 just like that and I will come up here behind the title I want to give 15 okay just like that I think not 15 10 should be good okay let's make this one const as well it's better to make this const that's why uh, our dart compiler is complaining let's set it to const okay now we have text field and this is email text field and I want to copy this uh, and come under that text field and paste it okay now we need to add password field just like that so let's add another sized box not like that sized box and height will be 10 I think 10 should be good okay 10 mm, 10 is good const again so here what I want to do is add hint text and that will be at least mm, eight characters at least eight characters okay and the uh, icon will be different the icon will be uh, lock let's check it lock do we have outlined I think lock lock okay this one lock outline just like that mm. as you can see the focused one has this color just like that so the next one is uh, suffix I want to add suffix icon as well and that will be icon uh, icons of I what is it I yeah remove red eye and just like that let's check it how it looks mm. okay not that bad I think I can remove this it doesn't look that good okay password is good so now we have our email we have our uh, password text field and now what I want to do is make this password field uh, what is it uh, what is the word I can't remember let me check the decoration mm, what was that name I cannot remember it so you can hide the, what you are writing and that what is that I cannot remember if I try it obscure text something like that uh, yeah obscure text let's try it obscure text yes that should be true <laughs> now I remember it yeah so let's check if this one has it okay yeah both text field and for text form field has it so now if I come here if I type it as you can see it hides uh, what I'm typing okay on this one if you type it it just sh shows the text so that's for that purpose okay now we have our text field and the next one will be our text button which uh, shows the text of forgot password so forgot password okay actually you can you can style it uh, to your liking and you can actually add some uh, you, you can uh, refactor the code you can add controllers and stuff like that this is just you know for UI purpose that's why I'm not adding those functionalities so the next one is text button 
and the text button has on pressed method and the child will be just text and that will be forgot forgot password okay let's add question mark as well and if I save it as you can see we have this we have this forgot pass password and I want to align this to the right okay I don't want it here let's wrap it with widget and that widget will be align and align has alignment property and alignment property takes alignment and we can select any value from that center right okay if I save it it should be centered to the right just like that so the next one will be our button the button I want to use is elevated button okay so elevated button has on pressed method as well and the child will be text and the, the text I want to insert is login okay if I save it we have our button so let's give it this some styling style and elevated button style from and we can give it fixed size I want to give it fixed size and this this takes size uh, the first one is the size has oops the first one is width and height the second one is height so the width will be double uh, dot max finite and height we can I want to set the height not like that the height will be let's say let's make it 60 and let's see how it looks okay 60 is bigger 55 mm, 55 I think 55 is not that bad yeah that's good so let's give it shape and the shape I want to give is uh, rounded rectangular border okay so I can give it border radius with this one so the border radius will be circular and let's give it 8 okay I want to make the same as text field border radius so just like that let's set some of these values to const and this one as well and this one as well Okay, that's it guys. So this is the end of our UI tutorial. I hope you like it. If that's the case, smash that like button and also consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more Flutter tutorials like this. If you want to get the whole code for this UI, you can get it in the description. I'll leave it there. I'll leave the link in the description. All right, see you in the next video.